Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs and the square holes. The ones who see things differently, think different. Today, we dive into why Apple's marketing is not just effective, but truly exceptional. It's a testament to the immense power of brands that shape our behavior and even our identities. Welcome to another episode of This Is Marketing. Do you like apples? Yeah. Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> First, let's talk about how Apple has the ability to make us rational consumers camp outside of an R store for hours just to pay a premium price for their purchase. Think about it. You might pay more for the same product simply because it's adorned with that iconic Apple logo. But it's not just about the logo. It's about what the logo represents. Apple has harnessed the art of storytelling through its advertising, making us feel like we're not just buying a product, but a piece of a larger narrative and lifestyle. This emotional connection can be so profound that customers defend the brand as if it were a part of their own identity. Have you noticed that you never see the bad guys using Apple products in the movies? That's because Apple controls their image with precision. The R stores are clean and bright. The iPads, iPhones, iMacs, or whatever are all the same polished look and feel for their loyal fan base to have completely matching sets of devices in their ecosystem. People are so obsessed with it, Apple even shows up in their brain scans. MRIs of people's heads have shown that Apple customers exhibit emotional responses to Apple products, similar to those that they have towards family members. Imagine being so good at marketing, your iPad is like a brother to you. From the Apple One to the iPhone 15, Apple's journey has been marked by innovation, user friendliness, and a brand name chosen for its simplicity that reflects in their products. In the 2000s, Jobs would present their devices at their early Apple events on a minimal stage. Without fail, he would be wearing a plain black polo neck, frameless round glasses, and blue jeans. These clothing choices were completely apart from what would assume a CEO to wear at the time. You would even say Jobs transformed the public's perception of technology and devices from being for geeks to being for trendsetters. In 1984, an eerie Super Bowl commercial shook audiences. Directed by Ridley Scott, this commercial was to announce the introduction of the Macintosh. 39 years ago, this product was revolutionary and a far step above what competitors had to offer. One of their most influential campaigns saved Apple from bankruptcy, with their stock tripling in just three years. This campaign used the likeness of the greatest and most famous pioneers in history with just a simple tagline in the corner, think different. Apple managed to attach their brand to the most brilliant minds to ever live with a simple and effective idea. This is considered to be one of the most iconic campaigns of all time, and the tagline is still used by Apple to this very day. The newest wave of Apple's ads features Octavia Spencer as Mother Nature, who interrogates current CEO Tim Cook about the environmental harm Apple is doing. The conversation explains how Apple has made significant strides to bring its entire carbon footprint to net zero by 2030. This has been in response to recent allegations of the iPhone 12 emitting illegal amounts of radiation. Apple takes what would be negative publicity and turns it on its head to give them an advantage. Apple sells benefits, not features. Their products are sold for the way they can add to your life. Take for example how the iPod was marketed as 1000 songs in your pocket and not boring run of the mill jargon explaining how many megabytes the device has. Their use of emotive and to the point copywriting over informational overload their competitors use is like comparing apples and oranges. Apple's marketing is an example of mastering brand influence. It shapes our behavior, our identities and even our emotions. In the past, Apple has broken new ground culturally and technologically. We hope that Apple continues to remember their ethos to think different. With amazing new strides in AI and other frontiers, who knows what they could possibly do next? Thanks for watching another episode of This Is Marketing.